Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, DVD Fishing. So in today's video, we are fishing the Charles River. Um, so I picked this spot over here. I found it on Google Maps, and I liked it because there was a lot of greenery over there um, at the point in time when Google Maps actually took that picture overhead. Uh, it looks like a pretty good spot for carp to spawn. It's pretty shallow over here. It's maybe five feet deep at most. Um, so I assume it's gonna warm up pretty quickly. So so let me show you what I'm doing today as far as my beads. I already missed, I'm using a method mix today. So to make the method mix, oatmeal, um, it had crushed up boilies in there, old boilies, um, it's strawberry boilies and old pineapple boilies that I crushed up hemp seed in there and cloud nine mix um, by mainline baits and there's also some fish pellets in there mix it all together so it's nice and uh, clingy and it balls up really easily and it's not falling off the hook and as far as baits I'm using these I'm using a couple different things today I'm going to try them all um, this is the mainline quads essential cell bottom bait so these are really small it's about the size of maybe two pieces of corn put together. Um, pretty good for method mix fishing, actually. I like them. And got these little wafters here. So like a same, like two pieces of corn um, put together. That's about the size they are. And these things float a little bit, a little buoyancy. And then for the bigger fish, um, these are 15 millimeter fruity tuna boilies made by mainline baits and I put this tuna aid attractant in it and this stuff reeks. Do not spill that in your car. Um, so I actually had dumped the um, Pacific tuna aid mix, or solution in with the boilies and I let it sit for a week and these things are pungent. So All right guys so when you're casting out these method um, setups you could either tuck the hook into the the method mix like that and chuck it out that'll be fine and then the hook will pop off or you can do as I'm doing just leave it like that make your cast and then feather it and that's it and that keeps the hook away from the lead and then as you're backing up just let the line out one. Oh man. That was very quick. These are really good fighting fish guys so I get a lot of get bashed for fishing for these things but if you haven't tried them I don't know if you you're really in a spot to say anything about them because these things they, they fight I can't even pull them in right now. come on oh, I think he went into the, the weeds over there uh, I don't know if this is good or not <clears throat> Probably not the best idea. That was a really nice bite though. Yeah, so this is the Charles River. It's very dirty. Um, not very good for walking through, but I wonder if he's still there. can't tell if he's still there or not. Whew. 
this is scary. Come on, fish. Yeah, I can't tell. Oh, I don't want to walk out here. This is not good. <clears throat> Not fun. Ooh, ooh, he's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Ah, oh, come here. That's a nice carp, though. Oh, man, that's a husky fish. <laughs> nice. Oh man, I thought that thing snapped off. Oh. Yeah, I don't rec I don't recommend walking through this. Um, this water is extremely dark, and obviously this current, so I don't know where the, all the washed out parts are. Ooh. All right, let's get this thing up on shore. Oh wow, that thing's, that thing's actually a decent weight. Let's carry how much it weighs, but. Wow. Oh man. Well, that anti, or the um, silicone tubing definitely saved my line. Oh. All right, so here's the guy carp I got. It's very heavy. He's not very a very long fish, but he's probably around 25 inches or so. So very hefty fish, full of eggs, female fish. So um, let's get her back into the water. Very good sized fish, though. There you go, girl. That's a big fish right there. Holy smokes. Good. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a tank. That's a nice one. Not huge, but very beefy fish. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 I should have two people here, it'd be nice. Oh my goodness, oh my. 
Oh my god. I can't even lift this thing. Oh my god. What a porker. Oh. Oh my goodness. This thing is huge. Wow, that thing's sturdy. I wish I had my scale. <laughs> I mean, I'm a pretty good sized hand and the, these fish are just so wide. But, yeah, very nice fish. Wow. Definitely over 15. This is a big fish. Come on, girl. Good fight, good fight. There she goes, that's it. He went right in the weeds. Something on there. There he goes. There we go. Another nice one. Oh man, that's a nice one. Yeesh. Hey, so I just brought in this big fish right here. I <laughs> got another one on. I think he went in that snag over there. Wow, this is a good spot, guys. Come on, come on. I barely just got in a, that other fish. Yeah, these are really good sized fish. Oh my goodness. Oh man. My heart just sank when that other, the second rod went off right when I was taking care of that, first, the one, other one in this. That is wild. Hold on, let me clean some of the stuff up. Very nice sized carp. It's probably around 10 pounds or so. But beautiful looking fish so we're gonna get him back in the water there's another carp sitting right in front of me all right fish what a tank very good sized fish in here my other line. Whoa. 
That's a big one. Uh oh. <laughs> wow, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. I might need to go follow him. We're gonna follow him. There's so much, so many snags in this river, so I gotta, I have to follow him a little bit. I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. Especially right here. <sighs> All right, he's not ready yet, wow. He is not ready, oh my goodness. So you hear my drag going a lot um, because these fish do have soft mouths. So if I lock this drag down, I'm gonna end up losing a lot of fish. All right, come on. Yeah, this thing is a feisty one right here. That's my bad shoulder at the, I just tore the rotator cuff on that in October. And yeah, that's a nice fish, come on. Man, this thing is brutal. There we go. Oh, business. business. Oh, man. What did I get him on? I got him on a mainline oof, quad essential cell bottom bait. Wow, this fish, they're heavy, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah this is definitely a male. Really slender fish, but very sturdy. All right. All right. Okay. Where's my net? Where's my net? Right. Right, he's coming towards me right now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you like, pulled me off the log. I also wasn't balanced very well. I swear they know right where that snag is. Every time.
I think he caught every single lily pad in the river. Ooh, that's a nice one. Holy smokes. Huh, his eyeballs like retracted into his head. That's weird. Another fish. What is that? It's like a little. It's a leech on him. Hmm. Yeah, he's one little weird eyeball over there. It's like they're moving around, but it's in his skull. Interesting. All right. The price you pay to live in the Charles River. Oh man, good fish. Good fish. So much crap in this river. <laughs> Some really nice fish in here. Yeah, if you didn't have waders in here, you'd be, and you're fishing for carp. If you didn't have waders, you'd be in trouble. I mean, I already lost a couple fish today and I have waders on, it's just you can't help it. It's actually one of the s smaller ones of the day. Very fat fish though, very good. I mean these things are bending my net, so they're they're not they're not small. Alright. fish. Ah, oh, please don't break that. Don't break it. Oh, good. Hook popped out. Nice chunky, chunky carp. Go back. Yeah, it's definitely female. There you go. Going the wrong way. Get you a little bit farther. All right, good. Another fish. That was actually a bite. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. That was it. Oh, oh, right. They love these tuna boilies though. It's probably the best one out of the bunch. My rod almost went for a swim. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, no, no. Swim towards me. <laughs> I 
This is fantastic. Good fishing today. Really good. It doesn't pop off. Oh, come here. In the net. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, the, oh, this thing's heavy, like my net's bending. <laughs> All right. I pop this hook out quick. Big old cart. Oh boy. Alrighty guys, so the carp have moved closer into shore. Um, they're underneath this tree up to my right, this giant overhanging tree. That's gonna be a nightmare to pull them from, but we're gonna do it anyway. So they seem to be a little bit more finicky as the day's worn on. So I'm gonna go with the smaller bait. So these are the mainline match wafters, the 10 mil. Little tiny short hook link, obviously very soft hook link, um, just to help it turn and hook the fish in the bottom of the lip. Um, and that's really it. You can get a lot of casts out of these wafters, so just um, just dip them every so often in. I have all kinds of stuff in here. Hold on. Yeah, so I have this tuna aid. I think I I might have spoken about it earlier, but um, stuff reeks. Don't get it on your clothes. Get a little dip in there. And that's it. So, yeah, just smash your method ball mix um, around the sinker, and that's really it. All right, I'll show you where we're casting. Yeah, they moved really far in. They haven't gotten any bites on the other rod, so I pulled one of them in. Yeah, they're not far at all. It's right underneath the corner of that tree over there. That's it. Sit and wait. And just make sure when you're setting down your rod on your bank stick, so I like to get adjustable bank sticks. You see this, so I can adjust how high, how low. If there's not a lot of debris in the water, I go with the low. And put your ring before there. Set this. And see, beat right around. That's it. Oh. All right, this one's on a wafter. I don't have my net. Get out. Oh, oh, all right. It's actually not a bad fish. Come here. This is actually a telescoping rod. I usually don't use them, but figured I'd give them a try. Come here, fish. Oh my, what a tank. Come on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These things are huge. Oh, look at that fish. Big old chunky females. Yeesh.
that's a nice one. That's actually a nice fish. So this is on the wafter that I threw on there. Wow, look at the skull on that thing. This is a little tiny 10 millimeter mainline wafter. So these float a little bit, little tiny short hook length. So that's like three and a half inches long uh, method feeder. And then silicone tubing to prevent tangles when you cast. So um, the fish have definitely moved closer into shore underneath the trees over here. So we're gonna stick with fishing underneath that. So yeah, wafter size six hook. And I'll show you guys more about that, hopefully in the beginning of the video, but yeah, let's get him back. <laughs> what a tank. All right, all right, all right. okay, fish, all right, all right, all right. I know you wanna go back. All right, thank you, my friend. That is, I know it doesn't look like a hefty fish, but I promise you it is good sized fish. I knew this tree was gonna be a pain. All right, got him out. Just kept the rod tip low. Yeah, those smaller baits are definitely doing it right now. That's a nice fish. I do light drag so you don't pop the hook out. Wow. Ooh, he's a nice fish. wafter right in the corner of his mouth. Pop. Yeah, is what we got on the wafter. All right guys, so I think we're gonna wrap up this carp fishing trip. It was excellent. Um, I caught over over 10 fish. I still have my rods out right now, so I'm just keeping an eye on them. So um, I used a couple different baits today. I used small wafters, um, mainline 50 millimeter boilies. There's um, fruity tuna, I believe, was the flavor of it. And um, I used mainline essentials quad baits. The, um, the their bottom baits. So. They all worked pretty much the same. Um, the bites on the smaller baits, like the mainline essential cell quads and the wafters definitely got the more aggressive bites, but the larger 15 millimeter baits, boilies actually got the bigger fish um, as you see in the video. So, um, and then I used the same method mix on all those different baits, but if they're hungry, they're just, they're getting ready to spawn, so they're, they'll pretty much eat whatever's in front of them, but you just up your chances by putting a smaller bait in front of them for them to come over and pick it up. So um, again, fishing the Charles River, pretty shallow in here. It is like six feet um, maximum right out in front of me. It's not very deep at all. 
casting just past the lily pads at, at the edge of them. It's mud. It's like a mud flat out there and then lily pads. So right at the edge of that. And um, the fish are coming up pretty close to the shore. And that's when those smaller baits seem to shine. I did toss out some rigs with boilies on it, but they, they didn't really want to go near it. But if I toss those little 10 millimeter wafters or the, um, the smaller quad bottom baits over there, they're about 10 millimeters as well. They picked it up, um, no problems at all. And as far as color, the wafter was this bright chartreuse color. Um, all the other baits are natural colored with the um, big piece of corn on there. So color, I don't know. Um, jury's still out on that, I think, because it's so dark that they're just picking up the scent. So um, if you like this video, please give a like and subscribe.